Hey, I'm Seth with Land House. So this summer of 2019, I have filmed tons and tons of ram pump videos. And uh, if you've been part of that, thank you so much. Hope you have enjoyed them. Uh, I was uh, given the comment that I should do a, uh, a final video taking down all the ram pump stuff and uh, winterizing the pump out here in the creek. Uh, so I'm just going to be hauling all of the PVC pipe that I've been testing with and the buckets and pumps and I'm going to store them uh, just behind the four-wheeler uh, tent there for the winter time. I'm also going to return the uh, black pond and the blue barrel. I'm going to have to find a place to store that as well. And then we will head down to the creek and take a look at the pump. I actually am going to leave the pump in the water so that I can do some cold water tests this winter time. So that should be fun. But in the meantime, let's uh, haul some of these items away. I'm seeing a ton of the uh, yellow wasps here. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see them. I don't know why there's so many of them, unless there's a nest around here, but I mean, like, there's one on my shoe even. So anyway, I have to watch out for those, but maybe I can just grab from the end here and haul them off, see what happens. But yeah, this has been a fantastic ram pump year. Uh, I may, I actually have about uh, 15 or so, let's drop that one, 15 or so videos still in the queue for uh, next season. So if you're sad about ram pump season ending, there's still plenty more to go. But uh, I'm just storing all this back here until we have a better place to store it later. Used a lot of components. I'm gonna take those back up to the shop, I think, in this bucket. Yeah. This barrel is one that I attempted to use many years ago, and uh, I messed up on my hole saw there, and I think somewhere along here, there's another hole at the bottom. Anyway, it was all messed up, so I decided it's probably going to be trashed here pretty soon anyway. Might as well use it as um, a way to get three feet of head pressure for pumps. Oh look, a sprinkler. Cool. A fun project to look forward to. I'm going to tee into this piece here and go off to the garden space and uh, going to have some drip irrigation in the future. But for now, I need to turn this off and pop this hose off of here. Yeah. And go ahead and drain those tanks up there. Probably about uh, 100 gallons left up there. Well, between 75 and 100. Let's go take this back behind the tiny house again. I was noticing that uh, the tarp covering my siding is starting to fall apart. Need to get that installed inside the tiny house soon. I wonder if I should put something on top of that. Yeah, that's not gonna do much. Man, speaking about ram pumps, there's a tiny ram pump that I built for testing purposes a while back. Need to get back with that thing and do some more fun videos.
Need to toss those concrete blocks out. Most of them are damaged there. So I've got some pipe stored here from the one and a quarter inch size. Not using that currently. One of the big issues with the flume that I built years ago is that it stops up quickly with leaves and uh, that happens where it overflows off the side. I'm not sure how much longer this flume is going to last. I didn't build it very well and uh, this is one of the main things that's happening. See that second block? It was an entire block whenever I built it and now it is uh, just falling apart. And the whole thing has shifted this direction about three or four inches. Uh, so anyway, not the best build. I need to come out here and clean up some of this stuff. Ram pump graveyard, all these blocks that was a terrible idea years ago. And the old uh, Archimedes turbine idea. I was just given some inspiration on what I should do with that. I could pull the auger out and uh, create my own little trough based on uh, some sheet metal. So uh, next summer, or at least in the spring, anticipate a fun concept video on uh, the Archimedes turbine. If you missed it, years and years ago, I decided to buy a farming auger and uh, put it inside of this pipe, but it had too much friction because the uh, auger is in two pieces. So if I can just split it into one piece and then uh, have water flow through a trough in that, it's gonna turn the auger and hopefully generate a little bit of electricity. That's the concept, but anyway, ram pumps. That's why we're here. So like I said, I'm gonna leave the pump in the creek so I can do some testing this winter time. Uh, with some cold water stuff. Oh look, a raccoon print. That's fun. Um, I just got word that my stainless steel valves are about ready, which is really awesome. Might be good to introduce them during the uh, winter months so I have a better uh, time frame of how well they're gonna operate. Uh, I need to get some values on them. Some, uh, uh, just a flow rate versus the old brass valves that I've been using. Uh, anyway, let's just head up here real quick. Yeah, look at that mess. See if we can move that out of the way. Moving on, okay. So uh, drive pipe has survived another year quite well. And uh, I'm still really impressed with the bucket intake. Uh, I have a new intake coming up soon for next year. I've got all the parts built, or I mean uh, purchased. I just need to build it. And uh, the concept is going to be a wooden box with screen on top, but it's gonna be a lot wider than my current intake. There's a deer. Uh, so that's gonna be something that I build for next ram pump season. Because this one, as you can see, clogs up pretty easy. The new one is going to pretty much span the entire creek bed here and allow for uh, better input, even if there's a lot of uh, rain or a drought like this but anyway and I might even uh, increase instead of having a one inch supply line feeding a one inch ram pump 
I'm going to have a one and a quarter inch supply line feeding a one inch ram pump. So there should be significant increase in flow to my bucket down here, which will allow for uh, operation even in uh, times where there's some clogging of that, uh, of all of that. Anyway, so that's just what the ram pump looks like. Most of this video was just to say that the season is closing and uh, we'll be moving on to some indoor stuff. I worked just a minute or two to uh, try and get more clean out of this thing, but it's actually uh, silt and sand that's making the majority of the, uh, the issue here. So I'll have to come back with something that I can scrape that with. Okay, well, uh, I think this is just gonna be a final little wrap up of ram pump season. Uh, you can see I still have the racket balls in the pressure tank and then we've got all this stuff right here just chilling. Um, but next season I will bring back the ram pumps and uh, should be fun. Should be fun. So uh, I have ram pumps for sale at uh, landahouse.com, eBay, Amazon and a couple of other small stores. And um, they've done well this year. Definitely gonna continue with that. Uh, yeah, so if you need a ram pump, links in the description down below. They're still selling, even though the season, in my mind, is, uh, is complete. But I know that other parts of the world uh, still have plenty of warm weather ahead of them. So, okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video by uh, I think taking the blue barrel and the buckets behind the workshop or maybe up under the porch. And that will conclude this video. I'm gonna store that blue barrel under there for now. So if you watch Land the House just for the ram pump, do consider continuing throughout the winter. There are gonna be a few random uh, cold weather ram pump videos, but uh, I have over a thousand videos on the channel and uh, there's gonna be a lot more content coming up. I've got uh, a building down here that I'm gonna make for my uh, four-wheeler shed. I've got a playhouse build coming up. Uh, so, lots more content for you to enjoy besides just ram pumps. But, back in the spring, we'll bring back Ram Pump Monday, and it should be really exciting. Thanks for watching, bye.